All right, everybody, today, what you've all been waiting for, the holy grail of Arduino-ness. Control your Arduino with your phone. Incredibly simple. And all you need is one of these little Bluetooth modules. Focus. Oh, whatever. Never wants to focus for me. This is the HC06 Bluetooth module. Let me pop her out here and bring it up close. Maybe it'll... Hey, look at that. It wants to focus. All right. Turn it around so you can read it here. Four pins. VCC. 3.6 to 6 volts. Ground. Self-explanatory. TX. Transmit. And RX received. Now here's an important thing. See that 3.3 volt level. If you plug this directly into your Arduino and it's a 5 volt Arduino, you know what? It's not going to be happy. Come on, focus. There we go. So what we need to do is use a voltage divider. And I just happened to make one right here. So let's zoom in. Now, when we plug this bad boy in here, you can see we have our VCC and our ground going to those appropriate pins. Then we have our TX pin coming from the Bluetooth module going directly to the RX pin on the Arduino. But the TX pin, which comes to the RX pin in here, needs to go through a little voltage divider. Now for this, I'm using a 1K and a 2K2. So the way I have this thing set up is from the TX pin through a 1K into the RX pin. And then here at the junction, at the point where we create the voltage divider, we've got the 2K going back to ground. So that's important. If you don't do that, you will fry this little board and you know, you'll be out $4. So pay attention, make sure you hook it up through a voltage divider, unless you're using a board like, for instance, this Adafruit Feather, which is a 3.3 volt board, in which case, you know, you just plug it right in. All right. So the next thing is connecting it to your phone. When you first plug her in, you're going to get the super fast flashy flashy, which is saying, that it is waiting to be paired. So then you're going to need to get your phone. And I'm grabbing mine right now. And we bring my phone in here like this. And you see it comes up as HCO6. So we'll touch it to connect or to, to pair rather. And the pin is set from the factory. One, two, three, four. And now it's paired. But we're still not connected. Now you're going to need a way to talk to your phone. So you're going to have to write an app that's going to transmit these serial data via Bluetooth to your phone to do all this. No. Would I make you do that? Really? No. It's so much simpler than that, guys. It is so much simpler. Download this app, Bluetooth Terminal. All right? That's all you need. Then we come in here. We say connect to a device. In this case, it's the HC06. Bang. Now we're connected. Everything's hunky-dory. Let's go take a look at the code and I'll show you 
probably the second most simple sketch ever written next to Blink. Okay, so here's the code for control your Arduino with your phone. I learn electronics for February 2017 and there's our YouTube channel. Hey. Somebody screwed up here. There, that's much better. All right. We will start off by setting a define for our LED pin, which is connected to pin 7, and you can connect that to whatever you want. Then we're going to declare a variable here called phone, and it is of the char or character type. Then we have our setup down here. We set our LED pin for output, and we begin our serial comms. I told you this was easy, right? Here's the main loop of our program, and we say if serial is dot available is greater than zero. So that means is there anything coming in on the on the pin? If there is, then phone equals the character from the serial read. So we store the data in the phone variable. Simple. Then we're going to run a switch case here on the variable phone. And if it's 1, we turn the LED on. And if it's 0, we turn the LED off. And friends and neighbors, Arduino enthusiasts across planet Earth, that's it. I mean, we're talking the holy grail here of controlling your Arduino from your phone. And it's probably next to Blink, the simplest uh, sketch you've ever written, right? Let's go look and see how it uh, actually works. All right, everything is powered up and ready to go. And you see that we got the blinky, blinky, blinky that says pair me. So we will pair it with the phone. Huh. Maybe I was too close. Let's try it again. All right, now we're connected. So we input a one. And what do you know? The light turns on. And if we input a zero, the light turns off. Guys, that's it. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. Now, you could have multiple things connected here and just change your switch case statement to uh, you know handle multiple things. You could control a relay, LEDs, NeoPixels, anything you want I mean how simple is that and like I said I mean that's that's the holy grail you're controlling your Arduino from your phone man from your phone by typing a one I mean my god it just doesn't get any easier if you like this please give me a thumbs up comment share subscribe I'll see you next time